Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Rodizio, and welcome back to another video. So today I just felt like doing somewhat of a different style video. So that is why I designed this teeny tiny Minecraft house that's literally got every working station in it and also fits into a single shulker box. So let's go check it out from inside. At first glance, you only see what sticks above ground here, right? Wrong. But in fact, it reaches down another two blocks. And we have like a cauldron and brewing stand in here, as well as a basic enchanting table, which you could probably get a couple of enchantment levels with, but don't expect too much of it though, cause like the highest we'll probably be able to get is around level five or so. Uh, also there's an anvil in here, so you can get some repairing done as well. And here we've literally got every type of furnace, like the smoker, the blast furnace, as well as your basic crafting table and a double chest, of course, because what's a house without a double chest, right? Ah, uh, and uh, let's not forget that you can see there's an ender chest in here as well. Now, don't go saying that this isn't enough storage. Do I need to remind you that you can fill up all of these slots with a single shulker box? That's roughly around a thousand storage slots, and I mean like slots, okay? So you can fill all of those up with another 64 items if the item is stackable, you know, so on. So I don't wanna break my head on how many items that is, but just trust me, it's gonna be a lot. Now, don't you dare go telling me that this isn't enough storage. And finally, up there, we've got some less important stations like your loom and your cartography table. If you wanna play some cards like Uno, I guess. No, but seriously, I've still gotta figure out what that station is for. Oh yeah, and how could I forget? This bed is fully functional, so you can go to sleep on it at night to skip a night full of monsters and wake up right on top of it. Isn't that nice? Oh, and now is probably a good time to tell you, if you enjoy this type of Minecraft content, you can go ahead and hit that red button. I upload new videos twice a week, so you definitely don't wanna miss out on those. So let's come over here real quick, so you can see that this entire house basically fits into this whole size right here. What you see is basically what you get, and although you won't win any prizes on best design or anything, this house will do you just fine if you're planning on doing some camping or adventuring far away from home. And do I even have to mention that this house is basically pro strategy in servers where, you know, like griefing is allowed and so on, not to mention any names, <laughs> 2 be 2 No, but in all seriousness, this house, if you can even call it that, just takes shy of two minutes to build and to break back down. So that is just great. Now over here, I've listed every single block you'll wanna get if you wanna build the almighty shulker box house. So let's do a cinematic sweep right across here so that you get a basic idea of what you'll need. So I guess all there's left to do now is to make the actual house. So let's come around here into this chest and grab out all of the items that are stocked up in this um, single shulker box here. So let's go ahead and grab all of these things out of here. They all fit nicely into this shulker box. And what you wanna do then is to make a simple hole, which is two by two deep. And on one of the sides, you wanna then dig another two blocks down. That is where we're gonna put down our cauldron and our enchanting table. Now, as you saw before, above the enchanting table, we're gonna put down our anvil. And you can go ahead and fill up this, um, this cauldron here with a bucket of water. However, you can do that later on if you want. So there you go. We are gonna go and break that and place a bed like that. All right, so now you can go ahead and place your grindstone above the bed. I know it, it's gonna look like it's floating, but hey, it's gonna be all right. So what's next is the crafting table. We're gonna place that on top of this um, anvil here, along with a furnace to go alongside that. And you'll see that the anvil and the brewing stand aren't full blocks. You can see that you can still access the other blocks besides them. So that is why we went with uh, a combination of not full blocks on top of full blocks. All right, so uh, what's up next is basically the other things that are in our inventory. So let's clear that up quite quickly. There we go. And bring all of these down. There we go. So we're gonna place down our blast furnace along with our smoker. All right, there we go. And we're gonna put down our loom on top of it with our Uno table, just like that. All right, we're nearing the end here. We're gonna place down the double chest, which is annoying to place. Am I the only one having this problem? But I always have to place like other blocks so that I can place the um, chests that they, that they connect 
like you know what i mean that they connect into one double chest right so there we go that's that and all there's left to do is to place the ender chest along with all our nope that was not uh, what i meant to do but hey it was getting too dark to do this tutorial anyway so uh, what i meant to do actually was to place in our four doors like this and that is going to make sure that skeletons can't shoot their arrows at us and yeah i over there i put doors all around the house but i i just noticed that it doesn't really need to be so and that way you can also uh gather some more or like save on resources on wood which is also a bonus so there you go guys that is the simple house tutorial all right guys i know this was a short little video but it was all i had time for today unfortunately because like exams are coming up and all that so i'm gonna leave you with a time lapse of me tearing the house back down and meanwhile you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed watching and want to see more but for now i'm radizio and i'll see you guys in the next one